Hey guys, it's Brian. I'm gonna show you how to get millions of blood echo in Bloodborne real quick using a duplication trick. Now you can use this trick to duplicate many different items, but I'm gonna show you uh, more specifically blood echo. Now first, you need to create a second character. Now you gotta get that character up to the cleric boss, the first boss. You don't have to defeat the cleric boss, you just have to get to it. And then once you do, you need to go to the uh, workshop and what I'm gonna do is place one pebble in storage. Now it's very critical, remember, it's a pebble. You can use whatever you want, but I'm gonna use a pebble. So as you can see, I have nothing in my storage. You hit R2 and L2 to go back and forth between inventory and storage. So I have nothing in storage currently. So what I'm gonna do is place one pebble inside of, of the storage here of my second character that I created. Now I could use Quicksilver bullets instead if I wanted to. But you can only do this with any item that you can stack that has multiples that you can add, so like pebbles, anything you can carry a, a large quantity in a stack. So as you can see, I have one pebble in my storage, that's it. Now what I'm gonna do is go exit the game, go back to the menu, and I'm gonna load up my main character. So it's uh, just Brian, I have Brian and Brian too. In case I forget my name. Now. I cleared out my entire inventory on my uh, main account here, so I went to the uh, messenger, I sold everything, took everything out of storage, so I have an empty, clear storage. There's nothing in there. If you have other items in there, it kind of complicates things a little bit. There's a process in which you can do it, but it's just easier if you clear it all out. So as you can see, here's my inventory. I'm going to hit R2, and here's my storage. There's nothing in there. So the item I want to duplicate that is what I'm going to put into the storage. So in this case, I'm going to go and scroll down here and find a frenzied cold blood, the ninth level. I'm just going to place one inside of there. That's it. So at this time, I have just one item in the storage. Now that I have one item in there, every time I place a pebble, because that is what I put in my second account, it is actually going to increase the number of frenzy cold bloods in my storage. So I'm going to go ahead and place a pebble here. I'm going to place all of them in there. Now when I tab back over to the storage from my inventory here, you can see I have 20 Frenzy Cold Blood. So I placed 20 or 19 pebbles in there and got 20 Frenzy Cold Bloods here. One plus the 19. So anytime I add a pebble into my storage, it's going to automatically turn it into a Frenzy Cold Blood. So at that point, all I'm gonna do is go over here to the uh, shop, talk to the messenger here, purchase more pebbles. And you can purchase as many as you can because what you're gonna, what's gonna happen when you purchase uh, the entire quantity is all the extra is gonna, overflow is gonna go straight into your inventory. It would've just been easier if I hit the down button once instead of the up button 117 times. But there we go, it's placed all the extra uh, pebbles inside of my storage already. So when I open up my storage, I have 99 Frenzy Cold Blood, which is the maximum you can store of this. And with the Frenzy Cold Blood, I'm going to retrieve all but one because I want to leave one in there to duplicate it more. Now that I've transferred all of my inventory, I can go in. I can use multiple, use all of them. And I went from 308,000 up to 798,000 blood echo. Again, go over here. Just do this a couple times. You don't have to do it uh, much. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase every pebble I can. Again, it all went to overflow. Now again, you could do this with any item. If you wanna duplicate Molotovs, you just place that one in the storage instead of the cold blood. So I'm gonna go ahead and retrieve 98 of them. And it's gonna take me from 797,000 uh, blood ex uh, echo. And we're gonna go use all of them here. And it's gonna take me to almost 1.3 million blood echo. Now blood echo is currency and it's what you also use to level up your character. So we're going to go to the uh, the doll over here, or what used to be the doll, whatever her name is. Talk to her, and now I can take all these points, level up my character. I was level uh, 60, 
seven, I think. Yeah, level 67. I'm going to put half of it probably towards Vitality. And then I'm going to put the other half towards Strength. And I'm going to go from 67 to 98. All in about 10 minutes of time. Now, as I mentioned, you can do this with other items as well, not just the uh, Cold Blood. I'm going to go and take the Cold Blood out of here. And I'm going to put in... Let's go with... A bloodstone chunk that I use to fortify my weapon. You can do it with any of the bloodstones. Just the regular one, the twin, the bloodstone chunk. Uh, there's another level or two past this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put just one in here. I do believe I already have some pebbles in my uh, actual person here. So I'm going to just go and transfer all of these into my storage. And as you can see, I will now have 20 of those. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sure this will probably get patched. I don't want to take full credit of this. Someone did alert me of it, and it appears Deluxe233 did post a similar video on YouTube first. So go ahead and give him a shout out. And I want to thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.